guys, welcome back to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at something very, very interesting. These are the new Mez 73 Classic headphones. Now, you guys have probably seen all kinds of headphones from all kinds of people, but these are very unique. No two pairs are identical due to the fact that they're made out of natural wood. These ones are made out of actually ebony wood and no two are alike, which makes them kind of like headphones, art, and a collector's piece all in one. So now let's go ahead, let's open these things up, and let's take a look at the specs and what these things are all about. So here's the box right now. These are the Mez 73. They have a 73 inch circumference on the ear pads, hence why they're called that. Show you guys the back of the box. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and begin the unboxing. Go ahead and open up the top. We can see this is pretty just simple and elegant as it is. You open it up, you've got the headphones, you've got the two removable TPE cables. These are right here. One goes to each side, so you have one cable for right, one cable for left, then the stereo plugs in. It comes with two different types, ones that are wood and then ones that are black. Go ahead and start taking them out. Now, the drivers in these are 50 millimeter neodymium. That's the type of bag that's used inside of them. And they're using a lot of different types of headphones that are usually supposed to be on the high end and stuff. They also feature impedance of 40 ohms. It's very adjustable. Fit any type of different type of head. You guys can see they're very, very soft cones. These are 73 millimeters, hence why they're called the Mezi 73. and flip them around you guys can see the wood here and this is what I was talking about and why no two would ever be the same being that they're made of natural wood means they're going to have a much more natural sound to them each one of these is handmade no two are alike at all so let's go ahead and let me put them on my head over here and we'll take a feel at the comfort level so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my head like I said, they are very adjustable. So if you had someone with a giant size head, like a giant, you can see they could fit in a giant's head. Hey, I'm a giant. Or they can be adjusted all the way down to fit on my head. My small, petite, beautiful head, right? Okay, now these feel very, very light. There's no discomfort whatsoever. Um, external noise, you can still hear a little bit of external noise. I don't really think they're geared for noise cancellation. They're more geared for high audio. So with that said, I'm actually going to go ahead and plug these things in, listen to them for a little while, and then we'll get back to the end of the review. So we'll see in a minute. Now to put the cables in before I put these on my head, all you basically do is you put them right here and with a simple little pop, they go inside you can separate them right and left. And then all that's left is to plug them in. So now I'll stick them on my head. All right, folks, so you heard it. I played it through there. That's my song, Sunset Beach. Now, these things do sound very incredible. They have a frequency response range from 18 hertz all the way to 22 kilohertz. The response range on these, though, is pretty near flat. Um, depending on how you set the EQ is how they sound. Like I know we kind of like, you know, showed you guys the end of the video, but we actually sat here about 15 or 20 minutes, listened to a bunch of different types of music and tried the headphones out. Now, when I was playing heavy metal music with a bunch of boom, 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 I admit, I didn't really think that these were sounding all that great because it was just pumping a bunch of bass and everything and stuff we were listening to. But as soon as I switched over and started listening to more broader music, such as like pop or, you know, rock and just stuff like that, these things sound really incredible. What do you think, Cameron? You listen to them. What do you think? Thumbs up? 
There you go. You get the cameraman's thumbs up. So I know these things are going to be expensive. They're $260. Probably not very many people are going to be able to afford them. But for those people who want something very, very classic, they want something that nobody else has the same thing, then you might want to think about getting a pair of these Mez 73s. They do sound very, very good. I haven't actually went out and bought any $300, you know, what I would consider audiophile headphones that require an amp. I don't have any of those here. Most of my stuff that I have you guys know is geared around the recording studio us recording music and all that and that's where I'll test these out next but for now they sound really well it's interesting how they have the cables and everything set up with them I don't think that they'll ever make you tired on your head they're very very comfortable you really can't hear any external stuff when I was trying to talk to Jesus when he was listening he was just like I can't hear you and vice versa when I was listening I couldn't see them so Thanks for watching. At the end of the day, I think these are very interesting. Whether they're exactly worth $260 is going to depend on the type of person using them. But I say for style and design, and just for something really cool, these things definitely get an editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow just for being freaking original. I mean, hey, this is a fact. Nobody's got a set of headphones out there that look exactly like mine. So I hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button. You guys know we have all kinds of stuff going on, including the 70K sub contest. So make sure you're subbed to the channel. And I'll see you later as I take these things on a stroll in the recording studio. See how they sound over there. See you later.